So it is main event time here at Fight UK Amateur Championships 3. Adam Ben Carter along with me, dangerous David Letherby, as we take in the lightweight title between Liam Corrigan, the champion, and the challenger, Tia Blundell. What a night of action we've had so far as referee Leon Roberts just brings the two together. It is Blundell in the grey and blue shorts. The champion Corrigan in the black shorts. Corrigan Dave coming out of the Leicester Shoot Fighters known as a ferociously strong grappler. But as I say that, throw some nice hands over the top and a good head kick. Yeah, as you say Ben, team down there at Leicester Shoot Fighters, excellent. Likes of Nathan Leavitt and working with that team. Very, very good pedigree down there. Corrigan going for the takedown. Didn't quite get it. Good work from Blundell using the footwork to get back. I think it, Corrigan set his stall out. And we talk about a lot of fighters doing that, Dave. Going for an early technique, a, a specific strike or a takedown. Really sets your stall out and it really gives your opponent something to think about. And now we see once again the overhand ride into that clinch position. It's been a favourite here tonight. You know, let's see what Blundell's got. You know, initially he appears to be a striker. Let's see his grappling defense now. Quite well to avoid the takedown thus far. Corrigan throwing some knees. But I think when the opportunity comes, he'll be looking to maybe explode down if he can. Try and get the hands linked together. For the single or the double, I mean, from this situation, it's whatever, whatever presents itself earliest. Now we go down, I, th I think he's going for the single, if he can get it, switches to a high crotch. Trying to get the elevation on the pick, and he's got his man up and down, a powerful takedown. What we've come to expect from my champion, Liam Corrigan, tough, tough wrestling game. And Blundell, as he knew he would do going into this camp, Dave, will have to work from the bottom. Yeah, I mean, he's looking lively, Ben, he's got a high guard, well, well off the case there. Corrigan, looking to close that gap. Be heavy on top. He does look comfortable off his back though, Blundell, Ben. He doesn't look to be, you know, shocked in. It's not like Corrigan's passing him with ease here. He's got one butterfly in on that side. As I say that, Corrigan looking to pass to half guard. Blundell does well again, Ben. Let's be honest, Dave. There's been no secret of Liam Corrigan, the dominating wrestling that he's, that he's taken through this year. The lightweight ranks here at Fight UK are great amateur champion here and from Blundell's point of view like you say he'll have been able to watch footage of Corrigan so on the lead up to this training camp I'd be very surprised if a lot of his training hadn't involved working from his back if not submissions then specifically either lockdowns which he's looking at he's, he's done quite a few times or maybe even sweeps if the opportunity presented himself so like you say Blundell more comfortable off his back than maybe a lot than certainly a lot of other people we've seen here tonight yeah just say that Corrigan Goes into the half guard of Rundell. Come to isolate the net maybe from that side. It's hard to see from our vantage point. He's throwing the legs up again is Blundell, Ben. He's definitely looking lively there. Just saying that. Corrigan brushes it off. Great pass from Corrigan there. And now he's got his man turtled up. As he gets both the hooks in. And as he gets to, comes to the end of the round. Saved by the bell, I think, there, then for Tia Blundell. 
Corrigan almost secure in the back and we've seen him from that position before Ben very very hard to get Liam Corrigan off you from that sort of position and this will be exactly the first round that maybe Corrigan expected it takedowns at will I mean he got two quite good ones there the high cross pickup was very good Blundell looked to work when he could from the back but Corrigan's wrestling game was enough to negate it and this is something we said in the earlier fights Dave with more and more people getting submission savvy these days you're finding that the guard from the bottom becomes a much more desolate place to try and land finishes to fights from unless you're looking at a guard specialist unless you're looking at a, a, a Shinya Aoki almost a guy with a, an explosive guard who can pull a variety of submissions out yeah and I mean you see it not just at the amateur level, Ben, of course, that we're watching now, but all through the sport, I mean, the likes of Damian Meyer have really struggled in recent times to get any sort of offense off his back. Because you have got these wrestlers that are just so good at this dominating top position, and Liam Corrigan is a product of that. He's definitely, definitely in that mold. Tia Blundell, he's going to have to look to work the distance and work the strike in here. Corrigan himself with a nice kick, opening up there, body kick. Flicking up to the head. Corrigan's showing another side to his game, Dave. Seen him wrestle quite a few times, and he is a, a dominant, dominant grappler, but I like the tie that he's showing here, particularly the kicks. Well, that's the beautiful thing about having confidence in your wrestling, Ben. You can, you know, afford to go out there and, and let the hands go a bit. If you do get caught or you aren't enjoying it, you can shoot him for that takedown. At that point, the wrestling, he's dictating where this fight goes, and that's the problem for T.L. Blundell, although he's going to be enjoying this now, Blundell, because... Definitely, Ben, without seeing him fight before, he definitely looks like a striker to me. The hands do look crisp. Throwing some nice punches and kicks are right from Blundell's point of view. And we've come back to it so many times, but it just goes to show what a, a phenomenal... I mean, is there a better base to start a mixed martial arts career on than with it, with some dominant wrestling, really? Because every element of the game, as we see and say that there as Corrigan goes in, every element of the mixed martial arts game is made better, is made easier to do with a dominant wrestling base. You're seeing fighters not getting swept from the top as much. You're seeing strikers more confident to throw the punches and kicks because they know they can get out of situations. And primarily you're seeing fighters exactly like Carrigan now who can dictate the pace and put the fight exactly where they want it. So many dangerous guys coming from that pure wrestling base. And with performances like this, it's not hard to see why. No, yeah, and it's the small things as well, Ben. I mean, I like the way he's using his head here in this position. He's using his head all the time to move the head of his opponent Blundell and, and you know make it really uncomfortable for him as he is now look he's just pinning him under that chin just making it very very uncomfortable for Blundell there he's trying to work the wrist control Blundell he's got the, he's got the overhook on one side but from this point of view Ben and as we mentioned the shorter rounds before he's got to look to get out and push away because although there's not that much happening from this position there's only one guy winning the fight as I say that great takedown from the champion here Liam Corrigan but it looks like almost Blundell rolling for an omoplata there David Corrigan left his arm in there and he's going to be very careful he sitting through with wow. it but Corrigan do the right thing and sitting up I think it was the fact that Blundell didn't have the control of the shoulder he didn't get that left arm across and managed to hook his man but once again He's shown Corrigan that he has got a thread off the bottom, a real, a real set of attacking skills. But yeah. there we talk about that wrestling again. It was the posture that got him out of that situation. That's it. I mean, obviously, you know, a part of very, very rare to see actually finishing a fight. But that says something about the skill of Blundell to even attempt that submission there. But Corrigan, again, just brushing it off and now looking to move to north-south. Corrigan got good control on the leg. Look at this... And they're going to come through almost with it, with a toe, but from, obviously from, the, from the rule set, obviously. And there we go as we start the referee, Leon Roberts. I think that if he would have put a bit more talk on that, that Leon Roberts would have had a word with him and said, obviously, uh, the toe hold, obviously a twist in like submission not allowed under this uh, this rule set. Like you say, it's, it's the straight leg locks, the knee bar and the Achilles crush. But typically, as we've seen so far, I mean, submissions that are very, very hard to finish. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, from the leg lock point of view, it's, it's very difficult for the guys. I mean, I do like the NSAT rules, 
they do give a, a much more overall broader sense of the game then. I mean, we and have both commentated and judged at fights that, for example, have got no headshots in these different rules. You know, the lack of elbows stops these kids getting cut, stops the guys going through getting cut. And the, and the leg locks, you know, as we both know, can be absolutely devastating. So it is good to see that rule in place. But it does make it very difficult for the guys working those submissions, you know. Because as you say, we've seen guys tough out and Achilles crush here tonight. So it's very difficult. Uh, but as you say, I'm sure an experienced referee, if that ankle lock did go on further, a la Ken Shamrock perhaps, then, you know, he would have stopped that. Leon Roberts, one of the top, if not the top referee in the UK at the moment. We get ready for the third and final round. The main event here at Fight UK over the Championships 3. The champion, Liam Corrigan, taking on Tia Blundell. As much as we haven't been judging the day, but nice right hand counter there. It's hard to see any other scorecard really than Corrigan two rounds to the good. Yeah, certainly. I think Corrigan's two rounds up and Blundell's going to need a submission or a stoppage here. Referee just stops, lets him put his mouthpiece back in. I think you're right, Blundell really needs to push the pace here in this third round and he feels that. You can see he's taking the centre of the cage a bit more. He's looking to throw. I mean, realistically, he's got to throw kind of caution to the wind a little bit, Dave, and as I say that, Corrigan comes in underneath a nice one two and then into the takedown. Blundell's been taken down a few times this fight. Surely he's got to realise now the fact that if he's getting taken down when he's not overcommitting the strikes, now's the time, two rounds down, to really throw everything but the kitchen sink at his opponent. Yeah, it's, it's that very, very hard conundrum, Ben, isn't it? If you throw your, your legs and arms out there more, you're going to be easier to take down. But, you know, oh, as I say, oh, another great takedown from Corrigan, just relentless with his grappling tech. Maybe could look for Kimura or, or an armbar on this side. I think because I said an arm. It's hard to see from our position. Oh, Blundell. And well, trying to use the cage for a little bit of leverage here. Turning into his man. Corrigan do a good job when we talk about that, that wrestler's base and that posture. That's a perfect example of it there. He's basing up on those knees and he's thrown some nice knees to the side there. But still working, catching the eye of the judges. Is Champion Liam Corrigan. I've got to say, Ben, uh, Blondell does look very well schooled. He, he's continuing in, you know, he's very much in this fight. He's looking lively, does well to regain guard of Corrigan, shakes it off and moves into side control again. He, you know, he's going to learn a lot from this, Thierry Blondell, win or lose. Well, let's be honest, Dave, this is the fight that Liam Corrigan wanted, and it, it's testament to, to kind of his skill and his aggression, really. This is the fight that he's gone out there and taken. He's taken the fight out of his opponent, really. really sat the will out of Tia Blundell, who, to be fair, hasn't stopped coming forward. But it's been a, a grinding wrestling performance for Corrigan. He's looked sharp. But as we say that, Blundell, once again, may be looking for a, a rubber guard variation from there. If he can, he's got one butterfly hook in. He's got the heel up, and now he loses it. He's going to look to maybe push off the hips. Like you say, he can't afford to close the guard at this position because, realistically, that really would spell the end at this late stage of the uh, the contest. Yeah, credit to Blundell for trying to work here, trying to use that butterfly and that space perhaps to stand up. Very difficult, the crushing, crushing top game of Fight UK lightweight title holder Liam Corrigan. Just too much from this point of view as he goes to the body, tries to score some shots. I think that's the end of the contest. Blundell looking devastated there, his head in his hands. I think he knows, Ben, that he's definitely dropped a decision here to Liam Corrigan. I can't see it going anywhere else. He raises his hand and the crowd go wild here at Fight UK. Great performance, Ben. Liam Corrigan, a very worthy champion and yet another fighter we've seen progress through the amateur ranks, now with a great record. It'll be very interesting to see what happens to this young man when he makes the transition to the pro because let's be honest, that is clearly where he's going to go next. A great performance from champion Liam Corrigan against Tia Blundell here at Fight UK.